So I come into this this riverside and it's just Kyle smiling smugly. I was happy to see you. What can I say? This is what this is about. It's ganging up on me because Will can't beat me by himself and he needs to bring in his little allies. Do you think it's funny? That, do you think it's a, even slightly strange that all these different people have issues with you? How many enemies of Will do you know that you could invite to this, this recording? Is that a conversation you really want to have? I could have chosen from a dozen people. Kyle just was the best, uh, best looking. Thank you, Will. Thank you for appreciating me. But yeah, Jen, the list is long. What's the common denominator? I view it as my personal responsibility to save the sales community from the terrible advice that comes out of both of your mouths. It's my Robin Hoodism is to serve that purpose for sales. Jen, how long did you work at Challenger for? 100 years. That would have been my first guess, actually. It was like, it went through different iterations. The company was, I was basically the same company for 18 years. 12 years ago. Do you know what happened 12 years ago, Jen? Reborn? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, 12 years ago, they released a book called The Challenger Sale, one of the most renowned sales books out there. In fact, one of the main reasons that Challenger, CEB, whatever you want to call it, rose to fame in the world of sales training. Have you read that book, Jen? It's none of your business what I read on my free time. So that sounds like a no. You haven't read The Challenger Sale, despite doing multiple keynotes on the topic of <laughs> Challenger Sales Approach. 2015, they released a second book called The Challenger Customer. It's about building consensus, finding skeptics in your deal. I've heard you talk about all this stuff, but have you read that book? If you're trying to get me fired from Challenger, the, the time to have had this conversation was last year. No, I just want to prove to everyone that you're a liar and a deceiver. <laughs> If I was out here, you know, pretending to be Willy Wonka and I hadn't read, read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I'd expect some people to have some problems with it, all right? You're giving a bad name to salespeople everywhere by confirming the stereotype that we're liars and deceivers. There is nothing I've wanted to quit more in my life than this this Riverside meeting right now. <laughs> this is the single biggest thing I've ever wanted to quit. I've got Matt Green coming in next to throw Get some out! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this. Thank you for this public shaming. And I trust that Raina will do her best work and edit all of this out because... <laughs> this one's mine. I feel like Raina's not gonna edit this out. I feel like she's actually enjoying this quite a bit. Don't speak for Raina. Maybe I'm wrong. She just seems really talented and I think she knows great when she sees great. Is this how you sell? You just compliment the buyer, the ultimate decision maker, and just hope that they'll become your bestie? Is this in the sales introvert's playbook? One of the things that I do, yeah, I'm actually very likable to most people besides you. But again, going back to Will's comment, common denominator. <laughs> I think it probably would be better to reputation, for your reputation, Jen, to, to just change your name to Jen Knuth. Jen Allen's burned. That's why I'm doing Jen Allen slash Knuth, so I can eventually just do a massive rebrand and disassociate myself with ever having any done done any webinars with Kyle or you or anything. It's just gonna eliminate it from my history so people don't think I associate with lower level salespeople. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that. It wasn't my place to say it, but if anybody could benefit from a complete rebrand, a complete 180, <laughs> everything behind you, it's you. Because honestly, I think your potential is something else. You just need to detach from what you've been doing lately. Feels like an intervention. Is this what does this have to do with cold emails? We're here because we care about you, John. Kyle, have you even sent a cold email in the last decade of being alive? <laughs> pull it up. Let's pull up your last one. We'll see who's got things to say then. You know, when you're really important and things, then you're <laughs> there's a reason people rally around me, Jen. And it's not because of my cold emails, it's because of my exuding leadership traits. Definitely not because of your tweets, I'll tell you that. You got work to do there. On my what? On your tweets. You don't like my tweets? <laughs> hey, Will, now, now it's personal. What the, I, I come in with some like good natured ribbing and then she goes and makes it personal about my tweets? What is this? Jen, why are you being mean? Can you show Jen's Twitter on the edit right now just to show everyone what Jen is, Jen's Twitter profile looks like? I actually love your Twitter presence. It's all the stuff I would love to say on LinkedIn, but we get canceled for. Twitter seems to allow for it. Carl, I'm so sorry that I invited you in here and then left you alone with Jen for five minutes. It sounds like torture. Finally, I, I just, I, I joined the call, no one was here. I was excited. I was like, maybe this can be us turning over a new leaf. Maybe Jen will be happy to see me. And I have never in my life seen somebody join a call with this absolute disgust on their face <laughs> and that's when i realized that we've got a, we've got a long way to go but I'm, I'm i'm here for the long haul jen confused and repulsed at the same time that's what that reaction was i'm not giving up give up what are we doing today reina two weeks ago i gave you the task to email my gen z peers 
So today, we're gonna go through those emails. Let's hop into it. So Jen was supposed to send you emails two weeks ago, but she didn't. I gave Jen a one week extension and she sent them quite late still. Oh, I'm trying to put on my surprised face, but <laughs> this is par for the course for Jen. <laughs> Kyle, do you want to stay? <laughs> <laughs> You want to give running commentary as we go? Hang around for as long as you want. Chip in if you if you wish. Jen looks nervous. <laughs> I'll do one, and then you do one, Jen. Then I'll do one, then you do one, and then I'll do one, then you do one, okay? You don't need to mansplain reading emails to me. I understand the concept. I, that was actually really helpful for me to get a feel for the flow, Will. Thank you for breaking that down. I'm sure the listeners appreciate it as well. It's called an upfront contract, Carl. You'd know about it because you've actually got some sales training that's not based on a book that Jen hasn't read. Upfront, <laughs> upfront contract, Jen. Never heard of it. Read your stupid email let's go so from that email i actually got a couple text messages how do i respond am i supposed to respond is this a joke i'm still just shook i feel like i was going into cardiac arrest while reading it for the first time i mean you want to get a strong reaction from your cold emails so i still got to say that's a, that's a 10 out of 10 email that's that's great unbiased judge so far will is winning by a lot uh, I, I still need to hear Jen's emails, but that that's going to be hard to beat, Jen. All right, Jen, give us a give us a follow up to that. <laughs> All I heard was the bribery piece. You're like, hey, I know you don't want to buy from me, but what if I pay you to buy from me? Attend this demo and get a fifty dollar gift card. That's what you basically just said. I would never resort to bribing any of the people I email, just so you know. So then I went down the more business focused route. Carolina is relatively new. Do you want to redo that? Her name is Carolina. I know, I said Carolina when I first read it. That's not like the Taylor Swift song at all. <laughs> News, I fell asleep in that email. I found it thought-provoking, emotional, value-driven. Honestly, the, the only way that doesn't lead to a book meeting is if they just don't care about their business. I think that's incredibly <laughs> successful. Like at some point as an artist, you do the best you can and then it's on them to respond. But I find no fault in that email. I'm really glad you picked up what I put down there, Kyle. Thank you. As, as most intelligent people would, right? Like I'm just calling out what people that are really smart would see. This is the most pathetic joint of forces I have ever seen. Just please put that on record. It's been, this has been recorded, so it's by default it's on record, just so you know how recording works. Thank you. <laughs> I am a boomer and I don't know how it works. Okay, should I do my second email? I will give credit where credit is due. That skrr was yeah. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Jen Allen, the boomer, has TikTok. I do. That email sounds like a boomer who just downloaded TikTok. No! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. no! We were all gonna be positive, and then Reina from the top row. Reina. Oh, no. <laughs> there was a little bit of a lot, you know. So in my last email, I was reaching out to Anna Furco. Just, I have chills, Go literal goosebumps. Will I know? Mastery, art, value. I'm not usually just at a loss of words from how impressed I am, but just, just goosebumps my friend well done live reaction from anna now or later i would like to hear anna's reaction creepy with the two eyes and movies. <laughs> <laughs> that's the hard thing about being brilliant some people just won't get it jen let's hear yours i'm really excited okay. to hear your third that's probably the exact same as the first two the camera is the bane of my existence just another another thing in your life is completely its fault and not yours, right, Jen? <laughs> the competition was to get the replies. I got two because I took the initiative. Will wins again. Well, plus you had people texting Reina. Those count as yeah. extra replies in my book. I'm going to allow Will to take an even bigger dub right now because Jen has just been dominating so much lately. Erin said if she had gotten Will's Taylor Swift email, she would have responded. You didn't have to kill Jen. Okay. Okay. So I've been um, I've been scoring this whole session based on replies, based on wittiness, based on value. A pretty scientific method, but we're at will 497.3, which is actually pretty solid. Uh, Jen, you came in at negative 32, which is not a great showing. Exactly like you calculate your percentage to goal every quarter <laughs> in <laughs> Kyle math. 
sounds about right. You can take out your anger on me, but the performances speak for themselves. I'm gonna be the bigger person because every time Will loses, he has a crying fit and then he goes back and debates the rules. Will, congratulations. I am really proud of you for sending your first ever sales email that got a reply. This must be a very special day for you and I am really happy to be witness to it. Congratulations. That This now means that Will gets to post on Jen's LinkedIn, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it does. Was? Jen, can we also remind you that you came up with this punishment? Reina, this is, I'm getting it enough from two of them. I don't need you piling on top of it. Has anybody ever heard of treating your talent with respect? Okay, I'm gonna show up to the next one with a team of people behind me, just beating up on everybody on this call. Where are you gonna find that team, Jenna? Are they in the room with you right now? You're a meme boy who happened to write a couple good emails. What happened to taking the high road, Jen? Huh? I abandoned the high road. The high road is gone. That was the shortest high road I've ever seen in my entire career. Kyle, you've been a pleasure. Do you wanna come back next week? We'll, we'll, we'll come back another time when Jen isn't expecting me. Don't you have things to do as a sales leader? Don't you have business to run? Kyle, you've been here for 45 minutes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would rather spend my lunch time with you, Will, and with you, Reyna, than doing anything else. Jen, it was, you, you were here too, so that was something. I hate my job. I hate my job. <laughs>